Okay, guys. So, a little recap. Can anybody tell me the steps to long division? There were four steps that we said it. Four steps. Um, it represented an acronym. Anybody remember what it was? How many multiply, subtract, bring down? Wow. Proud. Yes. Yes, William. So that was H M S bring down. Great. I'm so happy you remember that. Um, right. So today, what we're really going to be looking at is when, if you realize the questions that we did before for long division had no remainder. But now, we're going to look at the ones with remainder. And then, wow, this writing is not going so well at all. Right, so we're going to be looking at the ones with remainder. And it's going to be mostly you guys working out, working them out. So this, consider this session now practice. And so you're going to work them out. And we really just wait. Yes. Okay, so those are the first two questions and I need with your paper and you telling me how to do it. You're going to tell me how to write them out. So what's the first thing? What's the first thing, guys? What's the first thing? See how many. Right. So how many in, in what? Which number? How many eights in what? How many eights in three? How many eights in 30? How many eights in 309? How many in what? How many eights in 30? Okay, great. You can tell me why. Why we never said how many eighteen three? Since I mean that's the first number. So why not? Because eight is larger than three. Okay, great. And then how much how much is that? Tell me how much. Anybody else can tell me. Four. Are you sure? Are you sure? What is eight times yes, four? Yes, Miss. What is eight times four? Wait. Mm -hmm. Three, three, three. <laughs> okay. And where would I put the three? Would I put the three right here or do I put the three right here? You put it above the three in 309. No, you put, put the three above, above the zero. Put the three above the zero. Miss, put the three above the zero. Great, great, great. It's above the zero. Oh, so whatever the last number is that we used, that's important, guys. So whatever the last yes. of the yeah, whatever the last number is that we used to divide it by, that's the digit that we put it up. Okay. So what's next? You multiply eight times three. Right, and what you get. Lead me through the whole process, man. You're the one doing it. 24. It's 24. Okay, and then what next? Let me take 24 from 30. Okay, what next? It leads 
shake. Right. And who can tell then you then you break, bring down the nine. Mm. So that's sixty-nine now. So how much time can we get eight out of sixty-nine? We'd have to know where squares, right? We have to know what is two squares, three squares, four square, five square. And if we know eight square, then we know that eight squares is four. Right? Knowing the squares is very important as well. If you know the squares, that that you see that table that they're always emphasizing knowing, it is so helpful. Like if you know. If you know all your squares, all the multiplication, that, that it makes math so much easier. So if you look at this, 8 in 69, we know that that 8 square, which is really just the same thing as 8 multiplied by 8. We'd, run, we'd see that that's 64. Okay? So that's 64, and then what we do next? Um, you, but that's William, you multiply, um, mm -mm, you subtract. Oh, you subtract the 64 from the 69. Mm -hmm. I get five. So what we realize with this question, different from the ones that we were doing from before? Mm. Okay, um, so right, so we realize that this one we have something remaining, right? So important oh. is what's the divisor. I'm not sure I mentioned them, but do we know what is the divisor? This is another important thing in our division. We need to know what is the divisor, what is the quotient, and what's the remainder, okay? So in this example, what is the divisor? Do we know what the divisor is? Eight. Right. So what would be the quotient? Five. Mm -mm. The quotient is the remainder. The quotient would be three. It's the number of hair. Okay. Three. Right. The remainder is five. It's what's left over. It's what's left over. But in the meantime, somebody prepared to work out this one. Oh, this is not finished yet, you know. There's an error, there's an issue there. But as I say, you guys are the ones doing it. So let's look at it again, go through the steps and let me know what the problem is. Because eight times three is not three or nine, right? So look back at it. If it was, if it was, the remainder would be five. Look at it again. Mm. 
64 and then we subtract and then yes we would still get the five we didn't write the eight up there okay so the remainder is five so the quotient is eight 38 the right is not working 38 so remainder five so the quotient is 38 and the remainder is five right but there's another part of the the division, you know, you have something called the dividend. What is the dividend? Dividend is the 309. Right, it's what's being divided. Um, great, you guys know all of that stuff. So someone else, not William, William just did his. Someone else is going to work out the other one and let us know what it is. As I said, I'm just going to be doing whatever you tell me to do. And then afterwards, we'll um, we look at what is what is what. So who will it be? Jermaine? Or will it be Adriana? Or will it be... Right, so Jumaine or Abriana, which will it be? Who's gonna work out this one now? Guys, I want either Abriana or do you mean to try the other one? Who will it be? Nobody? No. And we can get 5 and 36 seven times. And then 5 times 7 is 35. And then we subtract because so that's the next step. And then 1. But then we normally carry down next, but there's nothing else to carry down. So in this case, now the divisor, it's very important. You know what is divisor, quotient, remainder, and dividend. The divisor is five. The quotient now becomes 17 because what it helps us to do is it helps us to even formulate what's no um, equations, guys. So when we have 86 divided by five, you know that that, that can also be written as five times 17 right five times 17 
can use a dot or you can use a bracket plus one. Okay. And then there's another one. So we're looking at remainder today and we're looking at basically the, the different components of the division. So the divisor, the fact that this is a dividend, the fact that when we, when we divide the dividend by the divisor, the exact number that we get, the number that we get that, that can exactly multiply by 18 is called Does anybody does anybody want to write this one out? Ask it again. Anybody would like to write this one out? Nobody? Anybody? No? Guys? Me, me. Would you like to write out this question? There's something going on with my computer. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear. So if we realize some questions, so like 18, hey, 18. I fixed it now. Realize so some questions, we might need to go get a calculator because 18, we can't, it, we can't go into one and it can't go into 17 just the same. And so we have to extend it all the way down to 170. And how much is 18 in 170? Right? We're not really sure. Mm -hmm. So we work that out. We try to find what is 8. 170 divided by 8. So 170 divided by 18. And if you're having an exam where um, it's a no calculator exam, I wouldn't expect that to ask that one. So if you are allowed to use calculate, it'd be quite good. It'd be quite good. Right. So that's actually 94. And then you'd continue and continue. Let me see if there's anything else because of time. Time is so. Is there anything else I wanted to say to you guys? Let me see if this will work. Okay. Oh, I have to change back to... Okay, guys, so I'm going to open up something. Let me just see if I can find it. All right, so it won't come. Wait. Let me try to stop sharing screen for a minute. My laptop is glitching, guys. That's, that's the issue. I don't know. The internet issues, the internet struggle is a thing. The internet struggle is a thing. All right. Okay.
my laptop is going on it's a lot of issues i'm gonna share again Let me try sharing again okay there we go right so this little guy where are we seeing the, the um math mountain guys are we seeing yes miss okay so for On this brain. little game right good so for this little game it basically walks you through the different steps in the division and you go through the process so first thing is you divide 66 by 10 and what do we get at the top exactly what multiplied by 10 would give us a number closest to 66 with six times great so that's six and then they're saying multiply six by ten because we're going through all the steps and then right that would be 60 so we look first at the number from 10 looking at 10 yes. william taylor you want to you know, you want to, to work it out william yes miss i wanted to put it in Okay, great, great. Do it, man. Go on, sure. So, right. And then subtract 60 from. Just say that. Um, 60 from 66. Okay, we're almost there. If you realize on the right, we're trying to get the little thing to go up the mountain. That's why they call it math mode. So what's oh. 68 divided by 10? What's that? Okay, so what's the sixty-eight divided by ten is six, right? Yeah. Because six times ten it gives us sixty. So that would be six. Huh? William, answer the six. Six to eight of my time. Answer the six. Oh, what happened? All right, let me enter it. All right, and then we'll multiply the ten by the six now. Right? And then that's sixty. Cool. Okay. And we subtract sixty from eight. Eight. You see how the man climbing you know? up? And I will divide 80 by 10. Remember, we divide 80 by 10. No, no, we can't. When you have the 80 over 10, you can cancel out those two zeros. And you just get 8. Right? And then you multiply 10 by 80. 80.
you you're working it out, William? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead. Submit it. Okay. So we got six, six, eight. And then finally, before we close, because you guys have a break now from 10.30. So I believe 11.30. Right. So before we close, I need Abriana. Abriana, tell me. You need to identify and tell me what's the divisor, what's the quotient, what's the remainder, if there's any remainder. Right. What's the divisor, the quotient, the dividend, and the mm -hmm. remainder? If you can answer anything, Miss, somebody else will help you. Yes, the divisor is the 10. Mm -hmm. And the quotient is the answer. Right, the 668. Great. And then the and dividend. The, yes, the dividend is 6680. Right, great, great. And is there a remainder there? It's 80. Mm -mm. That was us working it out, right? But no, there wasn't any. Wait, I can't see why you say that because this is blocking the rest. This, this thing, this thing, yeah. The best. The add pop up. So see it here, yeah. So the zero. So it it has no remainder, but the zero was hiding, so you never use it. But yeah. Alright guys, it was great having you today. You guys are so amazing. Um so enjoy your break and you know the rest of the day and everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, bye guys. What did you say? Miss Levin I was supposed to come back. I think it's 11.30, you're supposed to come back. The next session is 11.30, I believe. All right. Bye, guys.